हेलो डोमेशन एनी वेल अवर्ड्स वेलकम बैक टू के टी सेशन एंड टू डेज ट्यूटोरियल इज ऑन जावा स्क्रिप्ट इन ऑटोमेशन एनी वेयर ए थ्री सिक्सटी सो लेट स्टार्ट ओके आई हैव क्रिएटेड दिस टास्क बोर्ड फॉर जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड वेन वी गो टू एक्शन एंड वेन वी सर्च फॉर ब्राउजर पैकेज वी कैन सी देर आर लॉट ऑफ एक्शन अवेलेबल फॉर दिस पैकेज बट वी आर गोइंग टू सी द यूज ऑफ रन जावा स्क्रिप्ट एक्शन so I am taking this action and uh, also we I have opened this uh, website uh, rpa challenge dot com so we are going to use uh, JavaScript uh, to automate this website when I go back to the control room so in the right hand side I can see this uh, so we need some inputs so first of all we need the browser tab uh, in which we want to run the javascript uh, when we refresh the uh, drop down we can see lot of uh, open window so i'm going to select the rpa challenge and uh, the title should not be can says sensitive and all okay so here they need manual input uh, we can write our javascript here and uh, also we can import the javascript file so if the java uh, if like uh, the script is very large or very big in size you can use this uh, import existing file feature otherwise you can use manual input functions and uh, here you can write your uh, javascript and you can select the timeout as well and uh, if you are expecting some input some output from your javascript you can select a variable as well you can click click uh, you can create a variable and uh, you can give the type as per your requirement and you can select the any existing variable as well okay so first of all i i will show you how javascript work works for example uh, in this website we have this uh, text box where we can enter the name okay so like we can enter the name and uh, if you want to automate this using uh, automation anywhere we can uh, like uh, capture this uh, we can start the recording using the universal recording and we can capture all these but uh, we are in this session we are going to do achieve this by using javascript so uh, go to the, this web page and uh, click on this text box and then right click and click on inspect and then uh, when we select this uh, drop down uh, sorry text box so it, it is referring to this code uh, we can see th uh, this piece of code is referring to this one uh, when we are uh, going to this code uh, it is highlighting this uh, text box so i will uh, right click on this code and here i can see copy here i will copy the js path you can see copy js path okay js uh, is for javascript so let me go back to the code and uh, let me show you the code which we copied uh, in a comment so when we click on comment see this is the code which is uh, copied uh, this is the javascript okay so this document or query selector this is the function of javascript and this is the id because we are uh, using hash so hash is for ids and if it is dot then it is a uh, class like in HTML, we have ID and class, so it is referring to that, and this is the value of the ID. So let me show you. Okay, when we uh, we can see ID GXF3XC, this is the ID. Same thing we can see it see here. Okay, so this is the code which is uh, copied. Now, uh, if I go to console and uh, I will paste the code and I will write dot value is equal to a360 now see here it is blank as of now but as soon as I hit enter we can see a360 see uh, let me show you again let me update the value to uh, automation see as soon as I hit enter this value is updating okay so manually we are able to like uh, update the value using this 
JavaScript uh, script uh, JavaScript uh, uh, code. So let's see how can we do achieve this by using uh, automation anywhere. So let me go back to the control room and here in JavaScript uh, we will write the same code. Dot value is equal to a360. Okay. So let me save this and here we can see I have already removed the value so it is blank as of now. So let me run the board. See, we can see this value A360 as soon as board uh, gets complete because there was only one line of code so we can see this value and board is completed. Similarly, we can uh, input the value of email as well. Again, right click on it, uh, right click on uh, text box and go to inspect. Then select this email. And here we have the code and see how uh, uh, we can use ID only ID is equal to CA yz9 so we can use the same code which we use for uh, first name we can use the same code just need to update the id and value we can change to at gmail.com okay so let me run the bot again oh here we go the value has been written in the email text box so this is how we can uh, get the javascript or id of all the other uh, text box and uh, we can input the value with the help of automation anywhere a360